Mandy and Ellie put their starter together. Now that our food is a stage closer to being on the table, I feel a bit more confident of what's in front of me. Good, because there it is, Scottish charcuterie. Oh, that is so lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a charcuterie and it's a uh, Scottish meats. Charcuterie is French. It is, yes. Oh, uh, really? There's venison chorizo ones. But oh, isn't wow. chorizo Spanish? No, because this is Scottish meat, it's venison. Yeah. And this is Ali's homemade chicken it's liver home, party. Yes, oh, yeah. that's a, a family recipe. So that's definitely Scottish, then. Dig in. All right, Thank enjoy, you. folks. Hope you yes. enjoy it. Yeah. The starter was very well presented. It was on a lovely board, um, absolutely beautiful, well laid out. I wouldn't say there was a lot of effort put in. <laughs> but I'd say there was a lot of thought put into it. I was a little surprised at the lack of cooking. Yeah, effort. Definitely seemed like the easier option. Back at the table and Charlene has a question. Charlene? Ali, <laughs> what attracted you to Mandy? <laughs> uh, I'm a legs man, so when Mandy walked into the nightclub that evening, that was the first thing I clapped my eyes on. Can I tell the story? It's just so much better when I tell it. <laughs> oh, if you like, yes. Um, <clears throat> so our relationship rolls. <laughs> I was sober I, and I was in with my friends. So through that, I guess we got talking, dancing, but talking, but dancing. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Back to the apartment. Uh, yeah, oh, so sorry. back to the apartment. Um, yeah, she's nailed that storytelling malarkey. It was a bit of a problem that Mandy <laughs> forgot what she was talking about halfway through. She's a... <laughs> She's very nice, but she's a bit ditzy. I think it went pretty well, what do you think? Judging by the fairly clean boards, it was a success. See if the main goes well, I'm happy. And if Mandy's happy, I'm happy. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> and if they're happy, I'm happy. Mandy pulls out her salt baked sea bass. Some hearts. While Stally plates up the salad and chips, and there it is, a plate of sides with fish on its way. Oh, where's the fish? Is it frozen? Pass the salt, eh? <laughs> nice one, Stephen. It's wrong. <laughs> when you see it. So, <gasps> do we get to eat this today? <laughs> if you're lucky. It was very showy. Yes. With the priest and everything. Don't mess with that. So messy. It was just, it was too long. That bit. Get rid of that. Um, <laughs> it took too long to get the fish under the plate. Can we start eating? Because I'm bloody starving. I know, yes. The main course was a bit of a disaster because it mm. took so long to serve that it was, it was all cold. Serving at the table was uh, hard, but, you know, I think it achieved the desired effect. What a cold dinner. I think the main was a bang without no buck. Who chose to do fish? Me. So you're the boss. Both, boss in the kitchen, <laughs> without a doubt, Judith. I'm the boss all round, actually. Let's but, just admit it here. Guys probably like to think they're the boss. <laughs> Stephen, are you a man? <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> if you're a man, you're not in charge. You're not a woman, I would disagree are you? with that. No, I would disagree with that. Well, yeah, I that's because you're a man. If you're cooking, then maybe the woman will take charge. But if he was putting up a shed... So you separate jobs out into boy jobs and girl jobs. So a boy job is putting up the fence or the shed, and a girl job is cooking. That's sexist. Well, that's Lucy who decides. I mean, I've never been one for, you know, boys' jobs, girls' jobs. I mean, I know, because I've been both. I think the women should do the womanly things, the man should do the manly things. Obviously, when it comes to Charlene and Judith, it's a wee bit more of a complicated situation. Yeah, so who, who changed the light, light bulbs in your household, for example? You, you change the light bulbs. We can't I tell you to change light bulbs. Have you ever actually changed a light bulb in your house? Yes. Be on it. No, yeah, be on it. I have. I have. So don't start. I have. I have. <laughs> yes. Stephen will pinch one from another thing that is working and leave mm. something else not working. Oh, no. <laughs> this proves beyond any doubt he's a man. Because yeah. he only thinks that far ahead. <laughs> Could you change one of these light bulbs? <laughs> if I had to. Luckily, you don't have to. They have to really pull out something spectacular for dessert to bring this back. Well, let's have a look at the old, uh, is that ice cream? Uh, it's a wee bit runny. Here comes the popular Scottish soft drink to create the, um... Oh, no! The, 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 the float! It's supposed to float. <laughs> well, 
Well, I'm afraid it's sinking, whatever it is. Well, whoa. <laughs> yeah, baby. What? <laughs> it's finished off with Scottish tablet and a swirly stick. And here it is. Whatever it is. There we go. Oh, thank you. So, basically, what we have here, guys, is homemade ice cream foe. <clears throat> yes. Who's diving in first, then? Anyone? I, I, I can see the float, but I can't find the ice cream. Dig right deep. <laughs> no, I'm still fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I think the ice cream was a fail, I'm not going to lie, because it sunk and didn't float. But... It dissolved. All... I don't it didn't just what... sink, it dissolved. Right, OK, Brian. <laughs> 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 Taxi! The search was unfortunately a complete and utter fail. Absolute total chaos, unmitigated disaster. <laughs> they managed to ruin two of my favourite things, tablet and iron brew. But, um, so yeah, it, it, it definitely wasn't the best dessert I've ever had. I think we've done a lot to beat last night, definitely. Our charm and charisma showed in our food today. What do you think? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you've got to think positive, I suppose. That's the spirit! Can't say I really enjoyed any course in particular this evening. And I only enjoyed the meatballs, so tonight we're scoring the Tori and Brian an 11. 11. So tonight the food was more of a miss than a hit? Yeah, I'd say the company was really good, but the meal wasn't up to par with the night before, so we're going to give Brian and Victoria a 12. 12. On with the main and it's out with the salmon. Wow, look at those. Restaurant quality, all right. Give Angela and Claire the best looking ones. Why? Because they're the fussies. Right. Car plates up and with some veggies, it's ready for the table. Well, if I was served this at a top restaurant, I'd be pretty chuffed. Here it is, salmon on croute with sautéed pomme de terre and hollandaise sauce. So, I hope you like it. Thanks. Did, did you make the pastry? I didn't make this pastry because it's phyllo okay. and nobody makes phyllo pastry. But I've made everything else. Right. You all right there, Cleo? What's inside? It's salmon and then it's cream cheese, creme fraiche and um, spinach. I'm so sorry. I do not like cream cheese. I cannot eat it. Cream cheese. Okay. Any cheese. I just... I can't. OK. I don't think mine's got any spinach and cream cheese. Oh. Yeah, so sorry. That's, that's I'm probably... sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> I really love the salmon, but I don't like the cream cheese with it. A bit yeah. cheesy. <laughs> I feel the same about the cream cheese. Yeah, cream cheese um, is not a favourite, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's not, it's not for me. Yeah. Looks yeah. great. Looks, Looks good. Good. absolutely amazing, yeah. so it's not failed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well done, Sam. I thought the mayor was disgusting, to be honest. I need to get out. I, I couldn't eat anything but the tops of the asparagus. They, they seem to be the most flavorful thing on the plate. Back at the table, talk turns to love at first sight. The first thing I found attractive about Carl was his long hair. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to have a lovely, lovely long hair I used to have, but at the moment... <laughs> oh. I've got more in common with you there, Nick. OK, OK. Thank oh, God! I prefer a guy with... A full head of hair. I don't like bald, but that's my opinion. I can't see any any chance of me losing this. No chance at all. And it's very, very thick, isn't it? A bit like the head, to be honest. Oh, it is thick, yeah. No, I'm not talking about the head. Yeah. I'm talking about the hair now. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was on about your head. I can't place you two. I can't place your accents. Angie's originally Wolverhampton. Right. Ah. And I'm uh, Manchester Salford. The accent that I don't like is a Wolverhampton accent, or should I say a Yamiam accent. It's just so common. Like, you write bab. What is a bab? You will not hear me saying, I'm um, you're all right, cocker. Huh? You said it just perfectly um, you're there. Going. Love. You said it perfectly <laughs> you there. Know, love. What I'm saying is, I don't speak like that. I've been in Wolverhampton for about five years now, and that's how they speak. Just how I... What you said, what you said you don't say, that's how they sound. To me, that's judging somebody. Mm. It was a direct insult to yeah. me. You've got a twang. I have, unfortunately. In your voice, which mm. doesn't come across very good. <gasps> Touché! Really? really? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's the first time anyone has ever said that. Well, it's good to be the first person to tell you. OK. So, have you learnt something from that today? I don't know about the twang. And she's from Wolverhampton. That's bloody horrible. 
accent. Yeah, meow. Yeah, meow. How many meow? I've got to admit, the main course was terrible. It just needed cooking for another 20 minutes. A minor detail. On with dessert. Put is portioned out, ready for a velvety smooth scoop of ice cream. Or not. I'm pretty confident about the dessert. Oh, I don't know, it's got cheese in it. Yeah, it's cheese. People don't seem to like cheese. Lemon and ginger cheesecake, everybody. Thank oh, you very thank much. You. Thank you. I've got an air in my cheesecake. Um, I think that's off the ginger. Is that off the ginger? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's ginger. ginger. It's ginger. It's great. Is it? It's too thick to be hair. I think that's an air. And if you can't see that, you must be blind. That's ginger. That's definitely ginger. That's a hair. No, I think that's don't ginger. Don't care what you say. That's a hair. No, it's definitely... No, I don't You don't know what you're talking about. That's a hair. You really don't know what you're talking yes, about. Yes, I do. Taxi! They kept saying it wasn't, but I know it was, and I couldn't finish the dessert off. Yeah, dessert, dessert was the best part of the night. Yeah, definitely for me. Yeah, that was the best, best part of the night. Part. I think we deserve 15, but I think we'll be lucky to get a 13. Oh, I think we got up to 16. The food was an epic fail, so I think for that we scored Carl and Sam on 10. Um, I thought the food tonight was a little bit of it and miss. But I thought the hosting was good and we had a really good laugh. So we're giving Carl and Sam a 13. 13. They're looking good. Let's see how they taste. <laughs> Let's. Crab empanadas with a Caribbean salad and a courgette and pepper version for Danny and Shira. Mm, looks lovely. Oh, lovely. The inside filling is not my favourite. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah, I think it's crab, you said? Yeah, yeah, it is, like, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah I'm not really a fan of crab. Yeah. It's Thank really you. nice. It's something different. I've never had this before. For me, it was a good effort, but it didn't quite tickle my fancy. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it was a good effort. Did it tickle your fancy, Martin? It is. This, to me, without the, the sauces, is a little bit bland, in mm. all honesty, for me. There's no real flavour. I didn't dislike it. I'm starving, so, so I've, I've eaten it. Yeah, yeah. No, um, no, but my honest opinion, it's a little bit flavourless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that there's no taste to it. Yeah. I feel like yeah, I'm eating yeah. something that's absolutely tasteless. So I tried yeah. it without the sauces. Yeah, yeah. And I can't taste anything. As it is on itself, no. Did you see Anna's face, though, when you said all that to her? I did, I did. She it's went like... from... <laughs> yeah. To... Hmm? Danny and Shira said the food was bland. And flavourless. Vegan food is bland. Yeah. Well, he cleaned his plate. <laughs> Back at the table, proposals are on the agenda. The most romantic occasion in my life was... Was so... I there? You were there, oh. darling. <laughs> it was when I, when, I, when I proposed to Anna, oh, I got on my knee... Yeah. On oh. the bridge, yeah. And the moon right, was out. And the moon was out and the water yeah. was all flooded and yeah. it was shining through. And, and the... then the clock chimed. Yes. At the same time. Yes. As the moon. yes. The way we got married or engaged or whatever yeah. you want to call it, I was in a, in a business meeting and Shira phones on the mobile. And she said, What, Danny? Do you want to get married on the 11th? The 18th of April. <laughs> <laughs> I did not propose to Danny. I just organised it. <laughs> also, it's like, well, someone's keen. <laughs> I'm not trying to get married anytime soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're just playing hard to get. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm still playing hard to get. Right. If he went out of his way to be like really romantic and swept me off my feet and then proposed to me, then. I, I would probably give in. Ball's in your court now, Martin. I think we'd make great witnesses to, to a proposal right now. <laughs> <laughs> For me to even consider marriage, you would have to bring out the big guns. I'm not going to lie. You have to wow me. Because it's so not going to be easy. You. No, you haven't. Sorry. Okay. Sorry to tell you. Okay. Food for thought there, fella. I'm still feeling good because I know that uh, the main course and the dessert are winning combination. Ian bungs the contents of his local fishmongers into his tomato sauce. He knocks up some samphire, then checks on his vegan mane. Oh, that looks lovely. Is it really? Yes, I'm pleased with that. Easily pleased. It's Dominican seafood stew. And for Danny and Shira, South American berenjena bake. Ladies first. Oh, uh, thank you. Of course. Lovely. Thank you. Buen appetito. Normally, I'm not a seafood person, but this dish, I can't lie. 
I do like it. You probably wouldn't have said that on a good day where you may probably ate breakfast and, you know, it came... No, but I did enjoy the food. Martin, what have you been told about having your own opinion? Oh. I did enjoy it. Oh, why did I take that back then? <laughs> I'm just finding it just... Heavy. No, just quite bland. Yesterday, um... you said you were complaining about the spiciness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And normally I cook it a lot more spicy, but mm-hmm. because you're complaining about the spiciness, yeah. I didn't put any more on. And if I'd known, I would have put some more on. Well, I can't taste no, c- any spice. Oh, right. Not, not anything, to be honest. Right. Yeah, it's a little bit boring. He was offended and starting to say, but you don't like spicy. But who said I don't like spicy? You never said that. I love spicy. Yesterday was just I over really the top. I really love spicy. Yeah. But I can't have it when it's too spicy. So that's spicy, but not too spicy. Aren't vegans meant to be considerate? And kind <laughs> yeah. with the critics when it comes to their food. But... Nah, they were like, they were really brutal. They really? had the knife out and everything. I'm gutted. We put a lot of effort into it and I, t- I, th- I just found it a bit rude, frankly. It's day two and Ange and Dave's turn to host and they're feeling pretty confident. We know it's a one horse race and we've got this. In the bag. Right in the bag. But after Angie's behaviour last night, they could be facing a tough crowd. Angela really set herself up last night as a queen of high standards. She, her standards better be up to par tonight, unless I'm calling her out on everything. Definitely, I'm calling the high standards police. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> David and Angela's evening will be very glitzy, very blingy, very showy, but it'll all be a front. It'll be all fur coat and no knickers. Oh, I say. Ange and Dave's first dish to prep is the starter, Chili King Prawn Bruschetta. The starter's just simply... Plain. Yeah, it's plain. It's simply prawns on toast. Um. I feel like a four-year-old could do that. They're doing prawns on toast. How easy is that? Well, let's find out. Dave knocks up a prawn marinade with coriander, chilli, garlic and lime zest. You just grate my nerves. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, Ange. In go rice wine vinegar, shop-bought chilli sauce and last to the party, those ready-cooked prawns. Top class. Can you squash some more limes round it? No, I'm leaving it just like that. He never listens, does no. he? No, because the chef, never, ever because chef knows best. I don't know why you bother, Ange. I hope the bruschetta's uh, homemade. Yeah. Cherry batter. What? It's got classic on the front and the finest. Yeah, it is the and finest. And that's what our guests are going to get tonight. Only the finest ingredients. That's right. Even if you haven't made them yourselves, the classic cheery batter will be toasted and topped with the prawns before serving. On to the main ribeye steak with Mediterranean vegetables in a tomato sauce. And Angie's going to extra lengths to avoid getting foreign bodies in the food. If anybody says that they find something in there... Like a hair. Like a hair, they would be lying. And they would be dirty liars. Unless it's one of Dave's hairs. So they're just chopping up vegetables, shoving them in an oven, and pouring some tomato sauce on. I'm sure it's not that simple. Oh. Proper Italiana, and you can't get any better than that. I think they played it really safe with this one. You can't really go wrong unless the steak's not cooked. We're actually going to do them to order the steaks, because we think that just adds that certain je ne sais quoi. Mon Dieu! Puts last to prep, chocolate tart. I'm a fan of chocolate, so if they pull out the chocolate tart, I'm sure that could, that could get my vote. What's wrong with a good tart? No, I know, you like tarts, you like chocolate, you're gonna love it. We realise that everybody doesn't like chocolate, but the majority of people we know does like chocolate. I hate chocolate. Oh, dear! And Jan's vanilla essence and icing sugar to melted chocolate, then whipped cream is folded in. I see a bit of elbow grease. Here, let me give you a little bit of that. Will you get off me? Come on. The chalky mix is plopped onto a shortbread biscuit base. How's that? Are you happy with that? No, it's a disaster. Don't touch the pastry. Don't touch the pastry. You just have. Look what I'm you've doing, done. Yeah, well, that's all right. We just won't serve that bit. You can have that bit. Right. Remember, united front. Prep done. Time to get dolled up. I feel <laughs> like this is a very plain menu. Safe menu. Plain menu. It is so simple, I can rip them to shreds tonight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.